Hi, welcome to Backstage Pass. My name is Dan Zalisco, and with me tonight is Sean Phillips, who will be performing some of his great music and uh, sharing a little conversation with us this evening. Uh, we'll be back after these words. Right after these words. Sean, it's been a while since you've been here in town. A couple of years anyway? Yeah, at least a couple of years. And uh, I'm sure our fans out in the audience are really concerned and curious as to what you've been up to. Well, um, what I've been doing mostly now is trying to break away from formula music. Mm -hmm. And I've been writing for uh, um, various films and so forth and uh, uh, trying to, to uh, do some composition where I'm unfettered mm -hmm. musically. And now, for uh, somebody that doesn't know what that means, when you say unfettered. Well, what it means, unfettered means uh, when you write for the record industry, you have to write to a certain formula. Uh, the songs must be a certain length or something like that. Uh, you have to stay within a certain framework lyrically and, uh, and musically. Uh, uh, like they don't really like minor chords. Uh, you have to be able to dance to it, uh, and uh, that's quite a switch from uh, well. Originally, when you came on the scene, I mean, well, some of your music you could sort of dance to. Oh but yeah, exactly. A lot of the other music you break your neck trying to dance to. Exactly, <laughs> you fall down. Yeah, right. Uh, well, it, it's the the industry has turned now to where it, it's it is an absolute necessity that you be able to uh, uh, dance to the music. Uh, there are some. Uh, few and far between labels that do like new age music and things like that. And I thought about trying to do uh, some new age music, but I discovered that I'm too emotional to do new age yeah, their, music. Their stuff is a little bit more pablomized. It's yeah, just it is. Like, it's, mm, you know, it's one level. Yeah, most of it is, is uh, uh, they do it with a computer, and it uh, uh, once you get start the drum machine, it, it just runs its little. It seems thing. to me, though, a lot of, the, a lot of your earlier music. Um, as opposed to, I heard a little of the electronic music that you're working on your films with, but mm -hmm. some of the earlier music that was, while it was emotional, was still the kind of stuff that would be palatable to the people in that, I mean, if we're going to get put into any kind of a spectrum right now, it would be the new oh. age type of thing. Oh, absolutely. I mean, if, if you were putting those songs out right now, it would be perfect for that. Well, I'm con I would... I have been and am still constantly being accused of being way ahead of everything else that's, that's been uh, going on. And uh, it's, it's just a, a, a difficult situation right now because uh, I don't really know where to go. It's very hard to break into the clique of yeah. film writers. The, and also, the thing that I've noticed is real strange is that, uh, you know, in the, in the late 60s and the 70s, a lot of guys like yourself came out, and it wasn't necessarily being labeled a folky or space musician, or now they're calling it new age. It's like mm -hmm. somebody comes up with a new moniker for it. It's like they invented all a new exactly. form of music. Right. The fact is, is that at that time you were doing music that was, I mean, from the heart, from the mind, whatever. But there was a big audience for it. Right. And because of the way it seems that the radio and and the way MTV, for instance. Mm -hmm has come across and made it seem like, well, this is what you want to hear to the audience. Right. And it's Well, there's the catch right there. This is what you want to hear. Right. They don't know, They nobody really knows what they want to hear. But meanwhile, there's thousands and thousands of fans in any given city exactly. that have pretty much been left behind the dust waiting for something back right. to come back. And yeah. I, I think that's why we're here. This that, that um, like even my parents nowadays with all the stuff that's being forced onto the media and everything, I mean, 20 years ago, they know who the monkeys were because they were on TV. Right. But you know, the only reason they knew Frank Zappa was because I left the record laying around. They forbid me to listen to it right. if he looked like that. Right. But other than that, I mean, today you got parents. I mean, that are into Genesis mm -hmm. and you know, and uh, into right. Billy Joel. And I mean, everything is really crossed over a lot. I think it's just a matter of time, though, really, when guys like yourself are going to be back where you belong, which is in front of. I don't know, it's not like you're not in front of people, you're performing all the time. I'm performing all the time, but I am spending a lot of time writing mm -hmm. at home uh, because it takes time to write a significant piece of music. Um, it's um, just a, literally, as I say, it just takes time. Glad you're able to join us this evening, and I hope you'll be back real soon. Thank you, Dan. All right, bro. I will do. Take care. All right. All right. Bye bye. Bye from Backstage Pass. To speak of things anew, to speak in quiet blue.
okay upon your bed memory should think at least of you a scepter of ice and fire a specter of my desire a girl child of such loveliness the woman of my Oh, 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 oh. 